Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a review on Beat Studio Buds. These are brand new from Apple. If you guys have known, Apple has acquired Beats like uh, a while back and they basically own Beats by Dre and they have created something similar to the AirPods Pro. So uh, they're coming up with new uh, tech, basically uh, combining that Apple design with uh, Beats. Uh, by Dre. So uh, these Studio Buds are pretty incredible. As you guys can see, this looks like uh, Apple's previous AirPods. Just to compare the size, Beat Studio Buds is little uh, thicker and little uh, bigger than the AirPods uh, from Apple. Apple is advertising Beat Studio Buds as uh, the true wireless noise canceling earphone and basically they come in three different colors it's red black and white and uh they retail at 149.99 so the headphones will last you for eight hours but the charging case will charge it twice more so basically it means you will get the combined minutes of 24 hours what's inside the box uh so basically beats studio buds are inside the box and then the usb-c charging cable ear tips with like three size options small medium and large a quick start guide a logo a beats by dre logo and a warranty card with that being said i really want to test it out uh let's start the pairing so obviously pairing is so easy you just tap on the b and then you're connected on the phone obviously these tips are so small wow this is amazing my honest opinion about beats uh studio buds is it's pretty amazing i feel like it's snug more than the uh airpods right uh from apple i feel like this is more meant for fitness than in the airpods uh, obviously in AirPods, most of the time you run, it falls down, uh, it, it, it doesn't really hold on to your ears. That's why I bought the AirPods Max because it's just like so huge and plus you don't have to worry about like it falling down unless you're like doing mixed martial arts uh, workouts. Uh, with this one, I feel like you're able to like run and do all the crazy CrossFit workouts and I don't think you have to worry about it falling down. But in general, I think this is a great, great uh, headphones. I'm gonna be using them uh, uh, to see how they feel, but uh, do I recommend it? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, if you're on a budget and trying to spend uh, 150, 160 dollars uh, to basically make an investment for uh, a headphone. But uh, I really, really, really like my AirPods Max. Like it kind of gets sweaty in the buds, but it's amazing. It's huge, I don't lose it. Uh, the only case with uh, these small AirPods is uh you're gonna like there's gonna be a point in time and you're gonna lose these airbots you know like there's so many people that i know they always lose their headphones one of them is me uh and it doesn't matter how much of these that you buy you kind of like have to like treat them so preciously but uh airpods max is my favorite favorite headphones if you have the budget for it, like 600 bucks uh, I would highly, highly recommend it instead of all the other headphones from Sony, uh, from Shure, or other uh, headphones. But with that being said, guys, this is the review uh, of these headphones. Do I recommend it? Yes. Uh, would I want to use it every single day, like my AirPods Max? Uh, probably not. Maybe just when I'm working out uh, outside because. Uh, like AirPods Max just like gets so sweaty. 
All right, uh, with that being said, guys, I'm not gonna hold you guys up here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this video with your friends who are trying to buy a headphone or in the market for a headphone. And that was the Beats uh, Studio Buds. All right, take care.